Hello, this is Jerry from Sung Studio, and today we're in Minecraft talking about Elytra. Elytra, as a non renewable transportation tool, have been proved very well useful when you're traveling across long distances in well, a reasonable time period you want. The way to equip Elytra is to put in your chest armor slot. As you can see, the Elytra will appear on your character. And the way to use Elytra is pretty simple. All you have to do is press space while you are falling from, well, somewhere, essentially. So jump, space, and off you go. Gliding through the air, like gliders. Oh well, yeah, because it's Elytra, so of course you have to glide. And the property of Elytra made it sure that your heart your height during gliding will not exceed your starting point. In this case, the lighthouse over there. As all tools do, Elytra gets damaged during use. For every second you spend airborne with Elytra, the durability point for your Elytra will be reduced by 1. The way to fix an Elytra is, well, same as other tools. First of all, you can combine two broken elytra in a crafting table, and you can get a repaired elytra. However, since elytra has no crafting recipe, and they are non-renewable, doing so will reduce the amount of elytra in your world by one. The other way is to use an anvil. To use the anvil to replace to repair an elytra, ah. you have to place a broken elytra on one ah. slot and some leather in the other slot. Now, one thing to note ah. about elytra is that due to its non-renewability, non ah. it never destroys itself when the durability runs out. Therefore, when the durability ah. from light elytra runs out, it turns into a broken texture and you'll no longer ah. be able to fly with it. The way to repair it is to place the elytra ah. and leather in the anvil, and then you can see it spends ah. some experiment level, experience levels, but you get a good elytra ah. afterwards without wasting any other elytras. So what if you want something more advanced with the elytra, say, ah. if you fly like an aircraft, rather than a glider. Well, then you can use firework to add thrusters during the flight. Now, the firework used for elytra has some interesting property. As you can see, here are the elytra used firework. Here are some normal firework. The difference between these fireworks is that on the normal firework, there's an effect, in this case, it's a large ball, white, with trail. The difference can be shown on the firework when it's launched, for example, the Elytra used one left no explosion, while the normal ones, they do. This means that the normal firework will damage you during the flight and essentially blow you out of the sky. So way to craft these safe the firework, as I like to call them, is, to, is actually easier than conventional ah. firework. The way is, place a piece of paper and then some gunpowder ah. in the crafting table. You can see one gunpowder represents ah. one flight duration, ah. two is two flight duration, ah. and three is three flight duration, and you can't ah. add more gunpowder afterwards. Ah. This recipe is essentially shapeless, ah. so you can put stuff anywhere you want. Ah. So, and you can see they're stackable because they just added one, so they place them there. So the way to use firework to boost your flight is, well, this actually not that challenging, but kinda. So the way is, you have to put on your elytra first, of course, and then you jump, you glide, and during your gliding, you have to right-click with the firework. So it's almost like this. And I found a way you can launch yourself on the side of the water, which is actually kind of more convenient. 
So you run, you jump, and you fall, and you right click. And there you go. You launch yourself into the air. Alright. So with this method, you can essentially fly like an actual aircraft with a controllable flight height, speed, and uh, yes, basically that's it. And you can do rolls. Um, people, I think some people call it barrel roll, but it's not. I'm not an aviation expert, so don't ask me. So um, another interesting property of Elytra is its compatibility with water. So when you're flying with Elytra and you dive into the water, you'll see that your swimming animation does not stop. Let me grab some potions so we can see better. Oh, So you can see that in the water you still have the flight animation. This is pretty cool because it can double as a well more advanced swimming animation if you see it this way on the surface. It's more realistic. And with firework boosting you can also add earlier. You can travel in the water faster than you can swim. You can use this for, I don't know what you use this for, but it's there, and you can use it. Alright. Probably the use for now is how you can use some stealthy transportation or method. You can also launch yourself from the water into the air with firework, which is essentially impossible in the real world due to limitation of physics. So, Elytra also has some well, combat advantage, for example you can shoot stuff with Elytra in flight. I don't think I can hit anything, but I mean you can shoot down other player from the sky if you want. I've been shot down by a skeleton once, pretty shame actually. You can also use splash potions so that it acts as well, bombers I suppose. You can dive down, drop a potion, and then fly away instantly without being hit by the players. So um, I think that's all for today's tutorial, and it's Jerry from Star Studio. So subscribe if you liked the video, leave a like if well you liked the video as all well, as well. Leave some comments with your suggestions if you have any for my channel, any suggestions or improvements. And if you want to see more Minecraft tutorials, please let me know. So this is Jerry from Sun Studio and I'll see you guys next time.